great day. We're going to be today in the book of Genesis chapter 4 and we're going to learn about Cain and Abel, the very first two sons to Adam and Eve. So if you want to go get your Bible so you know exactly where we're reading from. So as you remember last week, um, Mr. Valentin and Miss Erica told you about the first sin that ever happened and that was when Adam and Eve disobeyed God. Remember God had told them not to eat of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil but when uh, the serpent who was Satan tempted Eve she ate from it and then she gave it to her husband and he also ate and we know that um, after they ate they realized they were naked and the very first thing that um, they told God was that they were naked and God said who told you you were naked you remember that and God um, took the very first animal sacrifice and he sacrificed this um, little lamb to cover the sin of Adam and Eve to cover their nakedness and the and the death of that lamb was going to represent the perfect um, lamb that was going to take away our sins and that was Jesus. So that lamb um, dying to cover the sin of Adam and Eve was important. And we know that Adam and Eve also were kicked out of the Garden of Eden because God has said we must um, remove them lest they eat of the tree of life and live forever as sinners. So God took them away from the garden and he put two angels to guard the garden. After this, God gave Adam and Eve their first two sons. The first son was Cain and the second son was Abel. Abel was the keeper of the sheep, while Cain was a worker of the field, of the fields, of the ground, in other words. And they both, after they were done with their work and their um, Abel sheep um, gave him new babies and um, Cain, his, the ground gave him fruit. They both brought a sacrifice to the Lord. Abel brought a sheep while Cain brought fruits and vegetables from the ground, what the ground had produced. And the Bible tells us that God accepted Abel and his sacrifice while he rejected Cain and his sacrifice. And it wasn't that God um, didn't like the fruits and the vegetables. It was that God had given them um, instructions of the sacrifice they were to bring. And God is always concerned also with the heart. And Cain's heart was not in the right place. So Cain, when God rejected his sacrifice, was full of anger and probably even jealousy against his brother. So God came to um, Cain and told him, the, the Lord said to Cain in Genesis 4, chapter 4, verse 6, Why are you angry and why has your faith fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is contrary to you but you must rule over it. So God went and told Cain, hey, just offer the right sacrifice and I will accept you and your sacrifice. But Cain was angry. And in his anger, while both him and his brother were in the field, Cain murdered his own brother. He was so filled with anger and he was filled with hatred that he murdered his own brother. And the Bible tells us that when we hate someone it's in our heart, Jesus said, if you hate your brother or sister, it's like you have already murdered them. God has given us new commandments. You remember? The first commandment is to love God with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our heart. And the second commandment is to love others as we love ourselves. But Cain was so full of anger and hatred that it actually led him to murder. And when God asked him, Cain, where is your brother? He said, am I my brother's keeper? He thought he could hide from God, but can we hide from God? No, no. way, we can never hide from God. And God knew he had killed him. He said, your brother's 
blood is screaming to me from the ground. And this is such a sad story that Cain could have repented and brought the right sacrifice before God. Because when we say we're sorry to God and we go and we do the right thing he's asking us, he always accepts us. And he always, just like he said, will I not accept you, Cain? But when we harden our hearts and we go against him, then it's going to lead us, lead us to more and more sin. So remember that God wants you to obey him because he loves you. He has a great and perfect plan for your life and he wants you to do um, the right thing, just like Abel and not like Cain. So overcome evil with good and don't do evil for evil. All right, guys, I love you. Let's pray and close in prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for your word, Lord. And thank you that you love us and that you're always going to um, accept our, our repented heart, Lord, when we ask for forgiveness. You're